Hi, my name is JT Giri. Let's talk about Map. So if you're part of migrations or if you're currently going through a app modernization on AWS, chances are you're part of this program called Migration Accelerator Program, short for Map. There are incentives from AWS to accelerate the migrations to AWS, and this is where Map comes in play. And one thing to know about this program is that tagging is super important because without tagging, there's no way for AWS to know the progress of the migration. And how you tag your resources depends when you started the migration. There's a new version of the program called Map 2.0. Essentially, AWS changed the tagging strategy. So if you sign your agreement after October 31st, 2022, you're part of this Map 2.0. If you sign your agreement before October 31st, you use the older way of tagging your resources. You rely on the curve file. And how you tag your resources is also different. Uh, so in an older version, let's call it legacy map, you have to use different tag keys depending on the type of workload you're migrating. In the newer version 2.0, there is only one key and you're adding different values depending on the workloads you're migrating to AWS. In addition to that, there are services that qualify for migration credits and there are other services that do not. Also, it's very important to know that bandwidth cost is not included as part of MAP 2.0 incentives. And here are a list of all the services that actually qualify for the MAP 2.0 uh, Credit. If all this sounds complicated, NOPS can help. In NOPS, you can track multiple migration projects. We automatically find the resources that were, ta that were not tagged after the migration has started, and we make it easy for you to tag those resources using System Manager. All this so you don't have to worry about and tracking all this manually on spreadsheets. We do this automatically. If you're not familiar with NOPS, we are a completely automated FinOps platform. The platform is completely free. We only take percentage of the savings. So all this functionality that we just went over related to MAP is completely free. So I hope you try it out. Thank you.